Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we're here. This is going to be the first round of the playoffs for the APA Academy and uh, this is going to be a really interesting situation. So we're actually recreating this match. We're redoing this match. I offered a complete restart on this match because there was just so much hacks going on on my side. Um, I was getting flinches, leech seed misses, seed flare misses, um, uh, just all types of things everywhere. I, I, I got four hits on water shuriken. Uh, at one point, but um, I do we do know most of each other's sets like completely, but uh, just there was so much hacks on my side that I honestly didn't even feel great. So I just straight up messaged him and said, "Hey, if you want to if you want to restart this match, I'll restart this match." Um, last time I let off with a toga kiss, uh, which I believe he knows is modest scarf at this point, and uh, I, he let off with the shaman. I kind of want to lead off with the landerus this time. Landerus um, is kind of the most um, expendable member in this matchup. So, just really quickly, I know that that's Mega Aerodactyl. I know that that's actually a Pasho Berry Infernape, uh, a Koba Berry, a Koba Berry, um, Shaman. I don't know anything about the Zygarde. Uh, uh, I don't think I know anything about the Metagross, but we do know that it is pretty much no bulk Metagross, or it's mildly bulky Metagross. And it, and that is a sub. Z Dark move, Z Dark Pulse, uh, Thunderous. So that's everything that, that we know about this uh, team so far. Um, we got really deep into it. We got like 20-ish minutes into the, into the first battle. But again, uh, it was so one-sided in terms of hacks. Uh, he, he even said, no, we're, no, we're good to play it out. But uh, I asked him again, like, look, are you sure? And, and he said, yeah, let's, let's, let's change it up. So this is a complete restart. I have no idea uh, what, what he's going to lead off with. I have no idea what he's going to do. But... Like I said, Landorus is reasonably expendable in this matchup, and I feel, I, I feel like I got a little bit of a feel for what he wants to do. He actually does not know that I'm Z-Move on my Landorus, so he might... He actually leads off with this thing once again, which is really interesting to me. Now, I do know that this thing has the HP Ice. I do know that this thing has the HP Ice, which is interesting to me. And I believe this thing should be ma it should be like no bulk at all. But this thing also has sub and this thing also has sub and actually Z Fly does a very decent amount of damage. Z Fly actually does a very reasonable amount of damage. We should always take an HP Ice, assuming that this thing is timid, and I think this thing has to be timid. I think there's something with my speed tiers. I don't quite remember, but I but I'm pretty sure this thing has to be timid. Or something on my team. Um, what is it though? Maybe Tauros. Yeah, yeah, the Tauros matchup. Galvantula. It would have to be timid for. So yeah, I think I can assume that this thing is timid, and I think I can go. I think this thing would want to sub up. I think we'd want to sub up turn one. So I'm gonna click Psychic here. I'm going to click Psychic. I think he thinks that he gets a very free sub. Yeah, there it is. So now he's going to HP Ice me. And by every indication, I should take a max special attack, um, timid HP Ice. And if that's true, then Z Fly actually om should almost always KO from here. I think he's going to click HP Ice here. And I'm going to click, I'm going to click it. Um, there's the HP Ice. Do we take... I think we should always take this. I think we should always take this. We do take it. And this should be... This should be... A KO'd Thunderous. So, according to this, I have a 93.8% chance to KO a... A Noble Thunderous. But regardless, I think I'm doing so much damage that I think... I almost always end this interaction decently well here. And, uh... Uh, in the previous matchup, we do KO. In the previous matchup, I was saying that um, this made it really difficult for me because I really wanted to be able to just, like, click Air Slash with my Scarf Togekiss, but he always had certain switches in, like the Metagross and the um, and the Thunderous. So I was never f truly free to click Air Slash, even though I really wanted to. Um, Dazzling Gleam is still the better play overall, but... But... Um, 
but the metagross is going to be a huge huge Im impediment to that although having this thing not uh being out so early does give me a little bit of leeway to freely air slash here uh in this overall matchup and as soon as the metagross goes down then my my uh, Togekiss becomes so much more valuable. It becomes so, so much more valuable. But having... So, okay. Having this thing out of the way, in, in the first match, he was able to sub on his Thunderous and then get a Z Dark Pulse off on my Bronzong. And my Bronzong took it, but it took 75% of its HP. Now I have a fully a full HP Bronzong to be able to deal with it. And I did have to give up a whole lot of HP on my Landorus, but... But... Um, like I said, my Landers is so much less valuable to me than my, um, than my Bronzong would be. I think my Bronzong is going to be decently valuable for, uh, a lot of the makeup of this match. And part of me thinks that this would allow me to go into my Dawn Fan right now. I think my Dawn Fan makes a lot of sense to me. I think my Dawn Fan makes a lot of sense to me. But so does my Bronzong. He could have... Bronzong is not the most valuable in this matchup either. Yeah, because... Okay, I do... Bronzong is really helpful for the Shaman, to be fair. But I do have a lot for the Shaman as well. I think I can go into Bronzong, at least just to scout out, because um, the only time that I uh, interacted with this Aerodactyl in the first match, uh, it, it never even Mega Evolved. It, it switched in on something, and then it doubled out. So this is the first time that I'm seeing um, any move that it has. Or, or I get to gate any type of investment. Oh, no, actually, I did get one hit off on, on it. I think I got a Dazzling Gleam off, which I think almost confirmed um, max HP, if I remember correctly. But this thing does get a Hone Claws off. And I don't think a plus one Crunch should ever take me out. So I believe... I believe... We do have to give this thing plus one, but... Uh, so Dawn Fan would have been a much better switch in here. But, I do have to give this thing Crunch. But Gyro Ball is going to do so much damage here. Yeah, plus one Crunch does a little bit over half, but not too, too much. Or no, that's, that's sorry, that's against Landorus. Um, where is Bronzong? Oof, okay, Crunch is actually a potential KO, straight up. But Gyro Ball should, should also be a potential KO. This is my only rocker, though, too. That actually kind of sucks. I might actually double into the Landorus just to just to get crunched and get KO'd. That actually makes a lot of sense to me. That actually makes a lot of sense to me. I'm going to double out into the Landorus, which should allow me to go into my Dawn Fan. Oh, double doubles out. That is super interesting. So maybe it doesn't have the crunch. D EQ, Aerial Ace, Stone Edge. Could that be it? With Hone it with Hone Claws. But I will get an, an immediate intimidate off. He's probably faster than me because this um Landers has like no speed on it. This Landers has like no speed on it. Actually, Psychic might actually do more to this thing. Which is funny to me. Uh Zygarde. Um Oh no, Earthquake does a whole lot more. Earthquake does a whole lot more. I think I could just freely Earthquake here. I can pretty freely Earthquake right now. Does go for the Thousand Arrows, that's fine, that's totally fine. Um, I don't know anything about this, this thing could be Scarf for all I know, but I believe... I mean, my Togekiss can come in. My Togekiss can come in. Huh. What do I want to do here? I think I have to go into Togekiss. Like he like he would obviously have the he would have the super obvious counterplay to go into Actually this thing is intimidated, right? This thing is intimidated, so would Greninja be an okay play? Uh at minus one attack. I really need to keep Greninja healthy to be able to take recoil damage later in the match, but Ice Beam, this thing could be Yachi Berry for all I know. 
He's been going wild with all the berries in this matchup. Yeah, unfortunately, I do think that... I do think that Togekiss is going to be the better play. And um, HP on Togekiss is going to be a lot less crucial for the overall matchup. So he's going to switch in his Metagross, but there's not really a whole lot that I could do about it. He could... I mean, he could really expect me to want to um, click Shadow Ball. And he could try to super um, overpredict what I'm trying to do here. But I have no reason to. I think I think now that I know how little bulk the Metagross has, I think I can pretty freely... Yeah, okay. Goes for the Thousand Arrows. Uh, he could extreme speed me, but I'm super curious as to how much damage this does. Yeah, that should be that should be pretty much max attack adamant at minus one. So even if he does have the extreme speed, uh, let's just see. Even if he does have the extreme speed, it does another chunk, but I don't think it does enough where I care too much. Although again, the Metagross would be super unfortunate. The, the, the Metagross would force me into an accurate play. I think the Bronzong always deals with the, with the Metagross though. Or at least it always, like, soft checks it a little bit. Does withdraw. Does let... Will let me get some damage off on the Metagross here. And actually, now that I got that much damage off on the... Off on the Zygarde, that leaves my Necrozma so very freely open to Autotomize later in the match. And now I can... Double into my Bronzong. And I think this is as good a moment as any to get to try to get rocks up here. Does he have any removal? His he could have defog. He could have defog. Du doubles out into what? Into the Zygarde. Do I care? Does Bronzong take it? Or yeah, does Bronzong take it? Um, Bronzong should take it. Bronzong should take it. Did he expect me to go into something else? Did he expect me to go into something else? I don't know. Um. I mean, Gyroball should be free right now, right? Gyroball should be really free right now. I think. He could Thousand Arrows me, but I should take it every time. Unless this thing is banded, but if this thing's banded, it would have done more to my... It would have done more to my Togekiss. Maybe not. Maybe this thing could be banded. Oh no, this thing is banded, because yeah. I don't think it took... Okay. Okay. I think I have to go into my Dawn Fan right now. I have to gauge damage on this on this interaction right now. Dawn fan, how much is Thousand Arrows doing? That is 100% banded. That is 1000% banded. Um He know I shard is super obvious in the situation. But the things that resist Ice Shard would be weak to uh, Earthquake. So that's a so that's an interesting play form. I do also want to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more leftovers back. So I probably just click. I don't know what I click here. I also want to click Gyroball because I think he saves this thing. But I probably just click Ice Shard. I don't think I have any reason to worry about the Metagross or the Infernape. Yeah, it does go into this thing. It, we, we should do a respectable amount of damage, like not a lot. Um, but respectable. Alright, that's not terribly respectable, but you you get it. You guys get it. <laughs> um So yeah, that was about 15%. Oh yeah, I think we I think I've already determined from the previous matches this thing is like more or less max defense. Yeah, that should pretty much confirm max defense. 
Bronzong should always check this thing, and Bronzong would allow me to get rocks up, which is going to be reasonably important. Um, I think that's my play. I know this thing has Leech Seed and... Has Leech Seed and... Um... What else does it have? It has Leech Seed and Seed Flare. Those are the only moves that I know for sure it has. Probably has Earth Power, I would guess. Um... But yeah, I don't, I don't mind taking a little bit of damage, especially since this thing is so specially defensive. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage in exchange for... In exchange for Stealth Rocks right now. And again, unless the Aerodactyl has Defog, I don't think he can remove these at all. And I don't think he can... S okay, so Metagross can have Rocks, but it seems doubtful. I mean, he has Rock Setters, but I don't... It seems doubtful that they would have it. Does go into Infernape. We know this thing is not Scarfed or anything like that. Um... I don't know what I do here. I probably have to switch out here, but into what? I don't want to give it too much HP on my... On my Dawn fan here. But at the same time... I might just give it this Bronzong right now. Hmm. Let me see one thing. Aerodactyl. Um, I think this thing is really HP invested. How much is Necrozma doing to an Aerodactyl? Oof, in Aerodactyl needs a little bit of chip for Photon Geyser to KO after rocks. So, I think I just give this thing up, honestly. I just go for Gyro Ball here. I probably get taken out, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. If I take this, if I take one hit and get a fat Gyro Ball off, that would be huge. Yeah, that's best case scenario, I think, because I do get a little bit of chip damage, and I do get a little bit of chip damage, and I should get taken out to Leech Seed. So he won't even get too much back on that exchange. Okay. Um... Yeah, i probably just go for another Gyro Ball. I do need just a little bit of chip damage onto that Aerodactyl to really ensure things. Slack off. That is bananas to me. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna still do a respectable amount with, with Gyro Ball. So I, I don't think he gains too, too much, especially since Leech Seed is going to get him, like, no HP back. Um, that's wild to me. That is a... Again, the, he is coming with these... With just a bring and a half, this matchup. But it should allow my Togekiss in for relatively free. My Togekiss will be able to... My Togekiss... Should actually be able to just click Dazzling Gleam, I think. Uh, no, I have to click Air Slash. But even, even if he does bring in the yeah i think no matter what my togekiss just gets off the damage that i need in this matchup here i just click air slash and i attempt to get some damage off on to certain things maybe i should have clicked um thunder wave i do have scarf thunder wave on this on this set but um maybe i should have i don't know doesn't seem like the best bring in the world or the best uh, move to hit right now. Uh, does withdraw. Probably going to bring the Metagross here. Yeah. But wearing down this Metagross is going to be pretty huge. Am I in a position where I can give up this Togekiss? Um... Where is it? Huh. Hmm. 
I think I can go into Donvan here pretty freely. I could also go into Greninja. I could also go into Greninja. Yeah, Greninja makes sense to me here. He also knows that I'm scar- or, or he, he at least knows that I, that I outspeed this thing. He might not want to- He does go for the Meteor Mash. Okay. That does a decent amount of damage, but uh, Dark Pulse should be relatively free. I think the... I think the Infernape is healthy enough where... Where uh, I can't rely on Water Shuriken anymore, especially with the Pasho Berry pretty much nullifying the first sh Shuriken hit. But I think he does have to also be wary of me trying to click U-turn here, trying to take advantage of him switching right now. I think... Yeah, this is a pretty rough matchup right now. The only thing is I need a little bit of chip damage onto the, onto the Shaman and a little bit of chip damage onto the Aerodactyl. And I think I potentially win this match with Necrozma. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a Scarfed Metagross. I don't think I ever realized this is a Scarfed Metagross. That's why I'd outspend my Landers before. I, I legitimately am finding that out right now. That's a Scarf Metagross. I had no idea. That's wild. That's why I never went for Bullet Punch in the first matchup. Although, it is an unfortunate miss. It is an unfortunate miss. I don't think it matters a whole heck of a lot. I think my Greninja is going to be healthy enough to be able to deal with taking Life Orb, Life Orb Recoil for the rest of the match. But, um... I don't know. Now he has no proper switches into an Air Slash. So he's going for the Flare Blitz. I super expected him to... I don't know if this thing has any priority. But I just click Air Slash. I don't know. This thing could have Mach Punch. If it has Mach Punch, then it has Mach Punch. Um, and I have to potentially try and win with Necrozma outright, but he does go into... Yes, okay, this is going to be the, the chip damage that I need on this on this Aerodactyl. This is going to be the chip damage that I need, although I would have much, much preferred to be able to go for um, Dazzling Gleam. I probably should have just gone for Dazzling Gleam. Let me see, actually, Togekiss... Togekiss against... I want to make sure that this thing is max HP before I continue. Air Slash... Um, if this thing is max HP... This thing came in on 75%, so I actually did... About 15 to 20%. Yeah, I think that has to be... Yeah, that, that almost has to be max HP. That should allow me to go into my Dawn Fan here. Goes for the Roost. Okay, that is very, very unfortunate. So, Hone Claws, Roost. Earthquake, Stone Edge. I'm thinking. I'm going to double out because I think the Shaman comes in almost for sure, for sure. I think the Shaman comes in. No, he stays He stays in. Okay, so this is for sure a sack right now. Ice Fang. Ice Fang Roost Stone Claws. Okay. I think what I can do... I think what I can do is go into Greninja. 
Water Shuriken should be doing... Water Shuriken should be doing enough. Does hit three times. Goes for the Stone Edge. Lands it. And uh, now I have to try and win with the Charisma here. Now I have to try and win with the Necrozma here. He has no idea what type of Necrozma I am, but I just click Autotomize right now. Although this is very interesting, I did bring a pretty much max special defense, or pretty much max, max physical defense. Necrozma does go for the Hone Claws, so that should allow my Photon Geyser to pretty much just hit this KO right now, which is going to be huge because keeping my Necrozma healthy is going to be important to 1v1 the Shaman. <sighs> my heart is beating pretty fast right now. I know that the Infernic doesn't have any, 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 uh, priority. I think, I think... Zygarde is still around, but it has, like, no HP. It can extreme speed to me, but whatever. And I think two signal beams should take out the Shaman. So I'm going to click Photon Geyser. I should outspeed every dang time. There's the Photon Geyser. Um... He could try to get off a banded extreme speed right now. Man, my heart is genuinely beating really fast. But I think if the Shaman goes down, then Bronzong potentially wins the matchup late still. I think Bronzong wins if Shaman goes down. I mean, Don Fan took a lot of damage, so it would it would be it would be a huge, huge um, question still. Banded, banded extreme speed from a Zygarde should be doing around 30%. Okay, Shaman comes in. Uh, takes a decent amount of rocks damage, that's about 80%. Um... Shaman... Photon Geyser actually does more than Life Orb Signal Beam, but but Signal Beam was mainly for the Alolan Persian. But Photon Geyser is almost always a 2 KO. So even if this, th if this thing does want to Leech Seed here, I think I always win this 1v1. Oof, that does a lot of damage. It goes for the Seed Flare, hits the Seed Flare. Ugh, I think he's trying to put me in range of Zygarde Extreme Speed. Which I think he might have just done. I think he might have just done that. I I think he honestly just put me in range of Zygarde Extreme Speed. But it's all a matter of Donphan being healthy enough to take on the Infernape. Well, I dropped that. He might honestly... Yeah, his best play would be to sack off the Infernape right now, I think. Let me take another round of Life Orb damage. Then Zygarde takes me out, and Shaman beats the Bronzong. Shaman beats the, uh, the, the Donphan. I think, I think he pulled this out. I think he 100% just beat me right now. Well, the Zygarde has to have extreme speed, right? He might not have the extreme speed. The fact that he's thinking about this as much as he is makes me really wonder what... The, the Zygarde has, because if it, if the Zygarde has extreme speed, he beats me. I think I think the fact that he gave this up might mean my Bronzong wins. Because... Yeah, I mean, it's going to depend on a lot. It's going to depend on a lot. I'm going to just click Photon Geyser. If he has extreme speed, he takes me out. 
There's there it is. But I think he's max he's max he's banded adamant. Um yeah, extreme seed always took me out even before that round of life orb. That's going to allow me Oh my god, yeah, yeah, Donphan is still really healthy right now. I think I should be able to take any single hit from the Infernape. I should be able to take any single hit from the Infernape. I think. And it's and I think it's a slightly bulkier Infernape. Infernape could have Infernape could have um Infernape could have Grass Knot. If Infernape has Grass Knot, then he beats me. <laughs> What's Grass not doing to me? Well, no. No. We've seen Close Combat. Flare Blitz. Slack Off. Would he have Grass Knot over U-Turn? Oh, it looks like Grass Knot's a roll. Assume, I mean, assuming that this is not specially invested. Oh, this is actually assuming Jolly. So, if it's not Jolly. If it's just a neutral nature... Grass Knot does a minimum of 116. Oh man, if I'm at 128 HP. And this is a neutral. A neutral Grass Knot. No boosting item. And neutral nature. Grass Knot is a 50 50 roll. If it's Jolly, then I then I, I should take it, I think. If it's Jolly, then. Then I always take it, 100% of the time. I'm going to click Earthquake. Goes for the slack off. I don't think he takes an Earthquake, ever. I think I think I just win. I mean, maybe this is him conceding, but... Uh, I don't think he... Yeah. We win. We win in the rematch. I'm, I'm blown away. I think, honestly... If he had switched out and sacked off the Infernape, I think he beats me. Because he sacks off the Infernape to, to cause my Necrozma to take another round of Life Orb damage. Then Zygarde Extreme shoots my Necrozma. And then Shaman beats Bronzong. Why do I keep saying Bronzong? Shaman beats Donphan. So, I think that's a... I think he might have just beat himself right there. I mean, this is the recreation... Or, this is the, re, the redo... Um, we've been playing for over an hour at this point, just over an hour straight of Pokemon, so he could just be worn out, but I think, I think, uh, that's what caused me to win this match, but, uh, regardless, it is, like I said, we've been playing for an hour at this point, uh, I'm gonna, I think, I think I'm gonna call it there, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, we'll be back really, really soon with round two of the APA Academy playoffs, and, uh, this is this was such a wild match. Autotomized Necrozma actually came through, and it would have gotten four KOs if the Zygarde didn't have extreme speed. Uh, but yeah, just wow. I don't know. I don't know what to say. We're gonna move on to round two of the playoffs, and we'll be back with more. We see the ICBA. Uh, the PGBL is gonna be coming up really soon. A League War is gonna be coming up soon, and uh, the UBLs should be uh, starting up as well. But I don't know. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm watching again. Out.